Welcome to Yes TV. It gives me great pleasure, as always, to introduce Dr. Charlie from Harley, a man who's got more letters after his name than in his name. Dr. Charlie, welcome. Thank you, Miss. Right, we've got six segments today. We're going to cut them all up. So let's kick off with the first one. Um, and these are all from the team who have yep. scoured the newspapers. <laughs> Hopefully none of these are sort of personal situations they have. Absolutely. So that's the disclaimer for you. First one, marijuana found to have effects on removing toxins leading to Alzheimer's disease yep. should it be legalized yeah well miss as you know in parts of the states now they have legalized uh, marijuana and um, my personal view and Richard Branson and various other scientists and in fact the former uh, chief inspector of sciences uh, agrees with this uh, believe that we should legalize certain types of uh, drugs because if you look at the history of drugs prohibition has never worked yep and uh, it was a 13-year American experiment it clearly didn't work. It didn't reduce the number of alcoholics. Uh, it didn't reduce the harm caused by alcohol because uh, the moonshiners and the uh, gangsters just made the most of it. So if we took the criminality out of a lot of drugs, that would help a lot of people. Now, the other thing about marijuana is there are some beneficial effects, like you've mentioned, and some in terms of pain relief for some people. So, for so example, some people with cancer, one of the best ways to get pain relief, interestingly enough, is marijuana. And there's a whole... A uh, group of people working on medical marijuana now, and they, 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 some of that is legalized, some of that is already out there. I think the problem is that um, if you're a young student wanting to take drugs, the problem there is you don't know about the quality and where to get it from. But we do know that some types of super strong marijuana will accelerate some people into mental health disorders. So there's a balance between uh, healthy marijuana use that can help some people with medical conditions and recreational use if used wrongly that can send some people into a mental health disorder. So it almost strikes me that you've got to have a health check before you decide which camp you're in. It's a really interesting one. I think that a debate, a discussion about who you are and whether it's right for you. For example, if you knew you had a family history of schizophrenia or you'd shown some early signs of symptoms of schizophrenia, yeah. it wouldn't be the smartest thing to do to take skunk or heavy marijuana, for example. Understood. OK, let's have part two now. 